So let's say you're playing something like Phasmophobia in VR with your friends. You're also live streaming. You need to be quiet in the game unless you like summoning ghosts for no reason, or if you're like me and you like taking pictures of the ghosts even though it's not an objective. But then suddenly, you get a raid. Oh my god, Shloop Dog, thank you so much for that raid. How's it going? What were you streaming? Thank you. Hi, I'm Adam Bombody, and I'm a VR streamer, and blah 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 blah. Well, I'm Adam Bombody, and I can help you avoid this. Let's show you how to set up a push to talk button so that you can keep the streamer chatter where it belongs on stream. Speaking of live streaming stuff, if you've ever been frustrated by the lack of VR themed channel art available out there, well, I've got some options for you. I have two different Twitch panel and scene themes available over on my Discord for you. That's discord.io slash adambombody. You can find them specifically under the freebies section. Anyway, push to talk. For this to work, you need to download OVR Advanced Settings, which I've talked about in a previous video such as this one. You can find it on Steam, but I will also leave a link in the description below. For people that aren't live streaming or aren't going to be using any sort of broadcasting software, you only need one microphone. How the OVR Advanced Settings Push to Talk works is that it mutes the microphone on your whole computer. However, if you're using something to live stream like OBS, that means that not only will it mute that microphone in the game, but it will also mute it in OBS. Therefore, your stream won't be able to hear your microphone at all either. So if you're live streaming, I recommend that you set your default microphone to be your headset mic and then in OBS, you specifically set your streaming mic there, not your default computer mic. I recommend obviously making your OBS mic something better quality, like an Antlion mod mic, for example. That way your stream microphone will be on all the time, but your headset mic will be the one that you'll actually be using for push to talk. Okay, so with your headset on and then your dashboard brought up, you should see a new cog at the bottom here called OVR Advanced Settings. We're going to click that. The first menu it brings you to looks like this. We're going to select push to talk here. And as you'll see, the microphone is on now, but when you do push to talk, it's off by default. But you can still hear me because I'm using a separate microphone than the one that's set for my default computer microphone. And to make sure that you've done that properly, you can specifically select what uh, microphone that you want to have it using here. So USB 3, that happens to be my Vive headset microphone for some reason. You also want to make sure that push to talk is selected here. Uh, optionally, you can show notification in your headset. What this means is that when you have the push to talk button held, you will be able to see a microphone button so you know that it's actually working. Now, in order to change the bindings, we're going to go back into the menu, go to bindings, and we're gonna go over to system. Um, so you can, depending on your controller and your setup, you can basically pick whatever button you want. Uh, I prefer to use the left menu button, so I'm gonna hit the plus sign, button, um, from, you can see more options by clicking this, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna set my push to talk button to be on held. So we're gonna click none, and then gonna select push to talk, and then the check mark to confirm. Something you also want to consider is the fact that the button you pick might conflict with something in a game you're currently playing, so let's mess with uh, Phasmophobia, for example. So if you go back into the controller settings, you can go into show more applications. Um, it'll go through all of your currently installed programs. But we're going to go to Phasmophobia. Then we're going to hit edit. So you'll see Phasmophobia already has a button set where if you click on the left button that brings up the menu. Well, we're going to just totally delete that. Now you won't have an issue of where when you left click the menu, a menu pops up when you're trying to just do push to talk. Sometimes if you accidentally swap controllers, uh, when you turn them off, it can be confusing. So something to help with this is if you put like a piece of tape on that particular controller to signify which one's left and which one's right. This took me a while to figure out as inevitably I would start my stream launched Steam VR, then was utterly confused as to why my microphone wasn't working. And it was because I had the bindings active, so the microphone was muted across the whole system, not just in VR. I hope that this helps those of you out there who don't want to subject your friends to streamer chatter. One more thing, I also just released a new shirt design. 
and until the end of November, 50% of the proceeds are going to be going to Extra Life, so make sure you pick yourself up a shirt or a mug or whatever. Go wear it while you're live streaming so people know that you're really serious about VR. Uh, the design changed a little bit due to licensing issues, but it still pretty much looks the same. Go pick one up! Anyway, as always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one. What's his name again? Paul? <laughs> Where did you get it? I'm not sure who just closed the door. I didn't see anybody near it, but the door just shut. Wait. Hey. Oh god. Okay. Paul,